ladies and most gentlemen, before we begin this video, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of you for the great reception on the last video about the Horde cloth armor. I actually didn't expect it at all, so thanks. It looks like I'm gonna have to continue and do all the armors now, doesn't it? So just a heads up that not all of them are either in the game or working with the model swapping, so please be patient while Blizzard add them to the game. So in today's video, we're gonna be giving the Alliance some love by checking out the three tiers of their leather armor sets. This is the set that'll be worn by demon hunters, druids, monks, and rogues, so keep that in mind when seeing the set. Much like the Horde set, this also comes in three different color variations. We did also get a new alpha patch since the last video, but unfortunately the items are still not added to the game, so we won't be going over sources or stats in this video either. Okay, so let's start off by checking out the tier 1 armor set. Okay, so firstly, I'm actually a huge fan of the style of the set, and as you'll see as we progress to tier 3, it does get really badass. So let's start with the helm. So if you look closely, you can see that the helm isn't pristine at all, and has a slightly tattered and used look to it. From the tiny holes on the hood to a wonky mouth cover, unfortunately, the hood does clip through the chest on some characters, but that could easily be an early alpha issue. So take that with a grain of salt. The shoulders are great as well, they actually slightly resemble a toned down version of Anduin's shoulders on his new armor set. There's a very regal and clean alliance look throughout the set as well, with bold lines and polished metal. The chest looks cool as well, featuring a rendition of the Alliance Griffin on the front. The matching cloak looks really nice as well, and it fits perfectly with all three colours. There's actually data for several other sizes of cloak as well, so this might not actually be the final length, or it might be one of many. Overall, I think the tier 1 set looks great, and honestly, I'd be happy to wear this as a transmog set for a rogue, monk, or demon hunter. Although for a druid, I really don't think this set fits the class fantasy. So now, let's move on to the tier 2 set. So much like the other Warfront sets, the chest, gloves, and legs are unchanged throughout the three tiers. But the second set does have some great additions to set it apart from the tier 1 set. Firstly, the helm is now evolved into a full face mask, which sort of resembles Kylo Ren in a weird way. If you look closely, you can actually see that there's now a griffin face on the middle of the helm coming down from the hood. There are also now two large holes on each side of the hood, and thankfully, this hood doesn't clip into the chest as badly as the previous set. The shoulders have become larger, and they travel further down the arm than the previous set. You can 
actually see a griffin face again coming out of the top of the shoulders towards the helm. The final addition to this set is the new belt. This belt features a giant griffin head on the buckle. I guess if it was a silhouette it would probably look a little bit awkward, but never mind. It's a cool addition and it definitely adds to the evolution of the set from the previous tier. And finally, let's take a peek at the tier 3 set. So this is the final form of the set. As you can see, the chest and legs have been reused, but they've added these new 3D elements to make the set stand out more. Specifically, some metal plates on the knees and elbows. The boots have also had a new addition in the form of some spikes on the end of the feet, which looks really cool in my opinion. The belt has changed slightly with a new piece of cloth dangling down from the buckle, which unfortunately does clip through the legs. Heading back up the body, the griffin on the head has now grown exponentially larger, and the mouth guard no longer has breathing holes. But don't worry, you can just breathe through this massive gap at the bottom. The helm also still features the hood, but it now features some cool designs on it and it really comes to life when using a Night Elf Demon Hunter. The addition of the horns and ears makes it look really cool indeed. The shoulders also look incredible. The griffins now have a wing that spans over the entire top of the shoulders, covering the whole shoulder, with the addition of metal plates under that which matches the new plates on the gloves perfectly. Overall it's a really cool set when you put it all together, especially in the blue. I think it's a great look for most of the leather users. Obviously the druids will be able to obtain this gear, which kind of sucks to be honest. I wouldn't have minded like a possible green nature set which could have been great for them, but there's still plenty of time for Blizzard to create more Warfront armor, so it's too early to tell for sure. And that's pretty much all I've got for the Alliance Leather Warfront sets. I think seeing this model in-game really brings out the minor details, and it really makes it look a lot better than any screenshot ever could. I really hope they find a way to fix some of the clipping issues though, as they can be a pain and quite immersion breaking at times. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on the sets and which one is your favourite, and what sets you'd like to see me cover next on the channel. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons and YouTube sponsors. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in that way, links are down below. So leave a like on this video if you liked it guys, and subscribe if you haven't. I also have a partner Discord channel, link is down below. And with that, I'll see you next time.